I almost fell and tripped over a mat. Hello, everybody. I am at work. I'm go about to really awkwardly film myself walking right by somebody. Oh, wait for it. I'm ready. Hello. Oh, Hello. thank you. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, oh, I'm at work. And I'm getting all fidgety sitting too long. And I'm like, I need to go take a walk. And now everyone's going to look at me as I vlog. Let's look at them back. I don't really seem to care, I guess. Oh well. I'll just be like a random awkward dude filming himself. And so, yeah, I needed to stretch my legs a little bit. And I was like, you know what? I'll make a video because I haven't really made a video since my last one. I kind of feel bad that I'm, I'm in a bind. We're moving in tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. And I'll show you guys the place. Uh, it's pretty fancy. Um, everything's working out pretty well. And so once we move in, hopefully I can get videos out a little bit more soon. But in uh, the meantime, I'm kind of all over the place. But speaking of being all over the place, actually, that's a terrible segue. But talking about ourselves. Actually, there we go. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> um, there's something I realized about INTPs that are very consistent in how they communicate. And I was always wondering if other INTPs did this. And as I was talking to some other INTPs, oh, which reminds me, people that I am talking to, I'm terribly sorry if I'm taking so long to get back to you. Yeah, I've already explained. <laughs> um, but I really love uh, your guys' input and, and just being able to chat with you all and um, just get uh, some encouragement from you guys and, and whatnot. Uh, but something I found interesting and consistent about INTPs talking in conversation, they always, a lot of the time, try to communicate um, in a way that they're talking about themselves and how they relate to a topic. If we talk about really anything, we, how we communicate is by how well do we understand the topic or do we do that topic or do we have any experience with that topic? Um, so like if someone were to talk about themselves um, doing something, anything, like painting or running or, or whatever, um, how, I would how I would give to the topic is by my experience in that area. If I have, you know, had some running stories or something like that, and but then I would like talk about myself in relating to the topic but I find other people that are not INTPs don't really do that but I've been talking to a couple other INTPs who uh, will will like talk about e ourselves and how we relate to the topic and the conversation actually goes quite swell which is kind of cool I was just found that it was interesting that um, that the commonalities actually sp uh, spur on each other in conversation and uh, it's always really awkward talking to yourself in the middle of uh, <laughs> in the middle of town. I'm about to actually make it all the way back to around the block. So, anyway, what do you guys think? What? Uh, how do you find yourselves communicating um, for your personality type? And if you're an INTP, uh, do you agree with this kind of communication style? Do you find yourself talking about yourself and your relation to a topic? Um, in order to continue the conversation. And do you expect other people to kind of naturally talk about themselves and not really um, find yourself asking questions very often? You kind of expect the other person's going to pitch in whatever they're gonna talk about, especially if it's like related to themselves, if that makes sense. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below and I'm gonna go, you know, make myself look funny. <laughs> oh, these eyes. Oh, uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know. And I'm excited to show you guys the place when we get there. All right, bye.